Yeah, yeah, man. You gotta go that way, though, innit? What way did you go? Yeah. Okay, guys, we just gave me a priest. All rise for the judgment, judgment day. day. Let's go. My favorite. Uh, None of them in there. <laughs> Randy Orton. Yeah, I probably put Randy too. Oh, yeah. 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 The time has come, guys. Alas, early castle take this. Okay guys, hopefully you all enjoyed um, this vlog and yeah, I was going to make one big vlog of my um, Clash of the Castle weekend from like Friday, like all the way to Sunday, but I thought it might be too long so I wanted to do one, one vlog with just um, the wrestling, like the show, and then I want to make it another vlog with like everything, like so I met Damien Priest, as you've seen in this video, like the WrestleFest, like loads of other stuff happens and I didn't want to just put it all into one vlog. I, I don't know, thinking about it, maybe I should have, but oh well, I thought I'd do 
the second vlog showing all the other stuff i did that weekend apart from just um clash of the castle which was an amazing event like man definitely i was not front row like i know me and the live events but like the atmosphere and just like pay-per-view like yeah man it's definitely a special occasion just having it held at like wales as well like just makes it even better so i thought they'd do it in london or like england you know but they actually chose wales i think it was probably the perfect opportunity to do it like the castle like the pay-per-view name just made sense and yeah man what a sick event I had a good time meeting um will um Balafig, adam thunder like they just made the weekend even better and yeah i want to show you some things i got from the weekend because I did want to go to the superstore on the first day, but I didn't um, have enough time now. I just didn't get around to it till the last day. And then pretty much everything sold. Like, apart from this, which I'll show you now, I did want the mini replica, but yeah, um, I think that was like 150 anyway. So um, I wanted it, but I'm glad sort of now because obviously I didn't have to spend 150 on it. But I did manage to get this Clash of the Castle pin, which, you know, just says I was there um pretty sick and then the main thing which i did see when i saw this straight away i was like i, I want this like either to wear or frame or something but this is clash of the castle like football shirt style and man this is so sick so you can see there you got clash of the castle got the dragon cardiff like this is so sick it says 22 there got the badge and on the back here it just says cardiff 22 this is like a football top so but this is like a wales one like this is like the classic like look and when i saw this i was like oh, i have to get this and this is so sick you just wear this at any pretty much wales event if you wanted to but yeah this is sick i don't know if i'm gonna wear i still left a tag on i even go around to thinking about it but yeah i'm not sure if i want to frame or wear it but we'll have to see but this is so sick quality on this feels amazing and this was pretty pricey though it was like 80 pound but i was like i'm gonna get it because it's just so sick and then the next one i got is this brett hart autograph from wrestlefest and yeah man shout out to will because um he paid um to meet brett hart and i just did the tyson fury um meet and greet but um yeah so i was just with him and then when you're in then i could i could just go up to get the um autograph or photo so i basically got this for free and yes yeah, so there two others brett the hitman hat this is so sick at first he didn't um <laughs> understand my name i kept saying it to him he kept he wrote it down wrong but he finally got it in the end and yes um really cool guy and a legend obviously in the wrestling industry and yes yeah, super sick to have this autograph from bret hart with my name on it and yeah man that wrestle fest as well was pretty mad like really i don't think it was a good organization like how they did it was really bad like they, they should have known how many tickets they sold because like the amount of people who still was queuing outside and when we got in they said it was finished and there was so still many people outside and we nearly didn't meet Tyson Fury like we paid £100 um, for a photo and we nearly didn't meet him and yeah they said he was gone once he was still here and after he did his like um, Q&A sort of thing we managed to speak to the um, people or Will did because we wasn't sure if we were going to get a refund they said he was still here and we managed to go up to the VIP um section in these tyson's like families there and we managed to get a picture of tyson so yeah that was so sick meeting tyson fury man and yeah nice guy and yeah guys that was um the clash of the castle like weekend pretty much everything i've done and yeah man what a great weekend that was and yeah guys let me know in the comments down below your thoughts of the show and just if you attended it etc and yeah all that good stuff comments down below please like the video already subscribe to you thanks for watching and bye for now